So guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review. I'm your host, Mike, and in this video, we're going to talk about these. These are the Apple AirPod Pros and some things you should consider before you buy these. Be right back. Guys, welcome back to the channel. As I said, this review is going to be about the Apple AirPod Pros. Um, we are just fresh off Black Friday. We're fresh off Cyber Monday. And if you've not already bought these, again, you're going to want to listen to what I have to say. Because I've had these for day 14 right now. And I've probably got about six to seven workouts in in these. And I'm considering returning them. And I'm going to tell you every reason why I like them and every reason why I don't like them. And I'm trying to save you guys uh, the time and the hassle the money of buying these, standing in line, whatever, however you get them, the excitement let down. You know, I know it sounds like based on what I'm saying, I'm going to return them, um, but I'm trying to help you guys out as far as, you know, what to expect when you get these and who they're truly for. Um, so I'm going to go down my list here, starting with when I went to the Apple store. Okay. I go to the Apple store. You got Apple techs around everywhere. You got Apple geeks around checking out every product possible. This is on October 28th. This is our, our release date for these. And I go there, I try them on, and you know, somewhere up here or down here, whatever, um, you'll see me with the headphones in my ear and how they look, and they sounded amazing. And it was just like, man, Apple really knows how to make that first impression, that first impact to just really have you wanting it. I mean, the tactics that they use, the marketing that they use, even the whole, hey, you go to the store, try them out, but we don't have any here. Now, that makes them even more desirable because you want something and you got the carrot dangling in front of you. And when you go to buy, oh, we don't have any. It'll be a couple of days, a couple of weeks before yours come in. So that's what I went through on day one, okay? I go to the Best Buy website in the Apple store, find out they have them go home, order them online, they show up two days later, day after my birthday, um, I pick them up. All right, so we're good there, right? When they arrive, I put them in my ear, they said to do a sound test, find the right ear tip that you wanna use, they give you small, medium, and large, and they do make a difference. The ear tips definitely 100% make a difference. Uh, mine came with the mediums on in the store, I noticed they had large, I instantly went to the large, put those on, and these bad boys sound amazing, okay? Compared to generation one, they sound amazing. Compared to generation two, they sound amazing. Um, it's just a completely different sound. More bass, more of a complete sound. Uh, we're getting closer to that Bose Sennheiser standard. We're not there yet by any stretch of the means, so don't, don't hold me to that. But we're getting closer to that full sound, okay? Um, nothing like the first ones. You get way more bass. Um, I'm not going to go through all the megahertz changes and etc. like that, but you get way more bass. Those of you who listen to hip hop, this will make you happy, okay? So, call quality. First thing I always do when I get a new set of headphones or a new phone, I put them in or I set the phone up, whatever. Call my mom. Mom, how do I sound? First call. Second call. It's no me to either my wife or my sister. How do I sound? Those are the three people I talk to the most. They are gonna be able to tell if I sound like I'm in a tin can or not. They couldn't even tell that I was on earbuds. So major win right there, all right? Call quality is great. Uh, the build was great. The sound was great. Bat three for three, right? Um, when we look at battery life, you know, one of the problems I had with my AirPod generation one was after two years, I was getting about 42 to 50 minutes worth of battery life in the gym and I have mine pretty close to max volume. Um, I didn't know that these things, the batteries would die, but now that I know this, I'm gonna advise you all, go get the Apple Care Protection Plan for $29.99 because up to year two, you can get your AirPods replaced, which means you get new batteries. Go do that, it is well worth it. I didn't know you could do, I didn't know that that covered that. So I'm like, you know, me, Mr. Anti-Warranty, I didn't get it. But back to the generation one, you know, I'm in the gym and I'm, I'm having to take my charger with me. I'm having to take other air uh, plugins with me because I'm on the treadmill for 30 minutes warming up or whatever. And you know, that just wasn't working for me. So these four and a half hours using noise cancellation or transparency, major win, okay? Speaking of noise cancellation, 
the first couple times I tried it, it didn't work. I unsync, I resync, I turned my phone off. And then after I turned my phone off and turned it back on, I got it to work. And this is the, the exact way it happened. I'm on the treadmill. Next to me are two women and their trainer standing below the treadmill talking to them. And I don't know if they just got off coffee and Red Bull mixed or what, but they was that, 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 I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, let, I can't even hear my music the way I want to hear it because I'm hearing all this squawking. So I went to my phone, hit noise cancellation, boom, boom, and all of that went away. And it was just like, wow, I had never experienced this before. It was almost like a, it was the reverse of someone who's deaf, all of a sudden now they can hear. It was like, man, I could hear everything and now I can't hear nothing. And it was perfect. And it was like a major win for Apple. I was excited about this. Now I can go to the gym and I can tune people out. You know, I listen to music, I listen to podcasts, I listen to YouTube. I don't have to hear none of this crap. I don't have to hear none of the crappy video music that's being played at the gym, nothing. I can just go to the gym, do my workout, focus on whatever I'm thinking about or the music, and be happy. It was great. So you will enjoy if you you know planes, uh, basketball gymnasiums, loud people, workout places. You will enjoy these when it comes to noise cancellation. All right, without a doubt, does a great job. Battery life, great job. You know Apple does a great job with the durability. One of the reasons why I was so excited about getting these was because they fit into the ecosystem. I mean, I can pair two different types of AirPods with my phone. I can compare. I can pair this to anything that has my uh, Apple ID, and I can just go from room to room to room. Connect. Boom, boom. It's great. That's why I like Apple. It works great with my watch. I mean, when I go to the gym, I'm like Captain Apple. I got AirPods on. I got the watch on. I got the iPhone on. I mean, I look like an Apple uh, fanboy. That's what I look like. So you know, imagine this. All the stuff I just told you, all great things. I didn't go through all the tech stuff, none of that. The fact that I can get close to 65 feet around two different sets of walls away from my phone and these still work. I didn't get into all that. You guys can go to another channel for that. This is strictly raw motion right here. Imagine on day number six, okay? I'm upstairs, I'm not on the treadmill, and I'm not on the weight bench. I'm not doing bicep curls. I am upstairs doing high intensity workouts. I am doing burpees, I'm doing jump ropes, I am doing mountain climbers, I'm up and down. And these bad boys keep falling out. Clum, clum, clum. They fell out one time, I didn't realize it until I almost stepped on one of them. And then I'm like, okay, let me address it. So I kept pushing them in. When I'm on the treadmill running, if I do anything that's like, you know, past jogging, so you actually have to run, I'm pushing them in because the seal breaks. It goes from noise cancel to now transparency where you can hear everything because the seal's broken. It's annoying. So I go home, I change the tips out. The tips don't want to snap on right. I finally get the tips snapped on right and I can't hear out of them as well when I'm taking phone calls. And it's just like, okay, what did I do with my old ones? My old ones, I used ear skins or ear hooks to where it would pump the music down your ear. It totally made the sound a whole lot better. You got way more bass out of your regular AirPods. If you have generation one or generation two, um, I will put that picture up in the link. You definitely want to take a look at that. Um, but it made a completely huge difference when it comes to how you listen to your music. Because again, you got silicone in your ear, they don't move, and it's pumping music down your ear canal, which is usually more bass. I can sleep in these. If you guys sleep next to a woman or man that's really loud, they snore, or if you want to hear podcasts, or if you want to hear, um, you know, like me, I, I meditate sometimes while I'm laying in bed to, to go to sleep. I like to sleep in my AirPods. I've done that for two years straight. You can't sleep in these. These things hurt in your ears, and they don't stay in. So when you wake up, they won't be there. That is a major problem for me. Major problem between that and the up and down when I'm doing burpees, if I'm doing pull-ups, if I'm running on the treadmill, if I'm doing jump rope, which I do often, and they come out, I can't do that. So then I thought, well, maybe Apple wanted me to go get some Beats Pros. And I did every research video possible on the Apple Beats Pro. And it's just like, 
Those are made for the gym only. When it comes to call quality, mm, that's when we get into that range. All right, well, I, I was looking for something that covered both. So now I've got a dilemma. Do I do one of three things? Do I only use these for phone calls and go get a workout pair? Maybe. Do I go back to the Apple AirPod Generation 2 and get some ear, ear skins and have this big long bone hanging out my ear? Because these look actually pretty sleek. They look pretty sexy. You got them in there. You don't have this big long bone hanging out of your ear. Just looks like you got a little earring right there. That's it. And if they got them in black, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So do I do that? Or do I go get the Powerbeats Pro and don't worry about the phone call quality and use wired for the phone call quality? I got to figure that out. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, I'm on day 14 and it's looking like I'm going to take these back. And I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do. Um, it's funny when you don't have something, you think about it a little bit more than when you did have it. So maybe that'll be the effect that I go through. But uh, I'm looking at the Jaybird Vista, I'm looking at the Powerbeats Pro, and I'm looking at the uh, Jabra 75T. And hey, if they fit in your ear better, they stay in your ear better, I might have to go that route. So in closing, recapping what I told you, call quality plus sound plus they blow the generation one or two away, uh, battery life plus ecosystem fit plus functionality you know apple comes with it normally uh, they're always doing updates but you know they their stuff is quality stuff plus noise canceling transparency plus um you get these just because you know they're going to work every time right if you have generation one this is a definite upgrade if you have generation two i'm really thinking about keeping my money in my pocket and rocking with my generation twos for another year pick you up some ear skins or some ear hooks and pump that bass down your ear. It'll keep them in your ear so they don't fall out and pow, roll with that, all right? But if you have generation one or if you don't have AirPods and you don't plan on doing all this high intensity workouts, these are good for you, okay? What are they not good for? These are the cons. The fit, the fit on these are hit or miss. And I don't know if I have weird ears. I know I got small ears, but I don't know if I have weird ears or not. For me, I had to keep pushing them in my ear. They kept coming out when I was doing those activities. So it's a miss for me. Um, usage, I cannot sleep in these. You sleep on these on this side, they're gonna come off. They're gonna actually be jammed into your ear. They hurt, okay? So I can't sleep in these unless you sleep on your back. Then you're snoring all night. It's just not a good look. So you cannot sleep in these. And then the usage, it's like, all right, I can make phone calls and be held very, heard very clearly, but I can't do both. And until I can find something that I can do both, I think the search is gonna continue. So, with all that being said, ultimately I'm gonna return these today, probably about the next hour or two. I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank you for subscribing. Hit that notification button if you like what you heard. If you want to know anything about these, just because I return them doesn't mean I don't know, um, you know, I can't answer questions. I can just go to the comment section, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and let's keep this video channel going. Um, this is a tech review, so you see right now it's gonna be blue. Let's keep it going. I'm trying to hit a thousand. Help me get to a thousand. Share this with some friends, ask me questions, comment, like, Watch the entire video. Whatever you gotta do, help me get to a thousand so I can help reach more people. Appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next video.